Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here. Know me. How are all my adventures doing? Welcome back to some more Grand Fantasia. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Um, as for me, it is time for us to get to level 3. And I'm looking forward to it. Because as soon as we touch level 40 is... Excuse me. Is when we get our, uh, our pet... Our pet panther, and I'm looking forward to it. Let's go see, uh, where we're going next. I know we're supposed to be going here. Okay, we're going to play Forest next after this. Well, actually, we're supposed to be going there now. But we can walk there. But yeah, Blake Forest is next. Um, trying to remember what dungeon is next after um, after Plague. Hold on. Ah, uh, Grand Fantasia Dungeon. Uh, the next one is Echo Cave. Echo Cave is at level 40. So as soon as we touch level 40, that dungeon opens up. So hopefully this area will get us to level 40. It should. Technically level 41. We'll see if that keeps on the right track. It's been a long time since I've been inside of this area. Has it been a long time since I've been inside of any area here? Uh, any quests near me I need to pick up? We can make a run for this one before we go there. Oh, but I have all my gear ready. I have my level 40 gear. Prepared for level 41. So I think we're gonna be stopping at level 40 when we're done playing Forest. Because it's normally we're always missing that last piece of gear as we go in. Either that or we're like one level behind for a dungeon. Somewhere around there. Hope it gives a lot of XP. I did just craft my bow this morning and got extra XP from this. Crafting a uh, level 35 and up orange weapon. So that's why I have this bar down here. Uh, this is a repeat quest that I really don't care about. Oh, it gives you... Um, Oh, okay, so Repeat Quest now gives you material you can use to craft with. I don't know how to feel about that. So they, they want you to do Repeat Quest for... Wait, that's all, all RNG, though. You'd be farming that for a bit, but if you're going to sell it inside of Auction, that would be the only... Yeah, that would be the only way I would be thinking of that, is selling it in Auction. Just doing those repeat quests and just put it in there. But I think auction needs a overhaul. It needs a little bit of a change. Because most players just put items in there for one day and it never really lasts. It needs to either expand the days and make it cheaper. Or he needs to go down the Guild's War 2 route something that's just my opinion though know? just because you never see like too many items in there it's mostly because everybody only puts it for one day nobody actually goes for the two days for the risk of losing extra gold when gold is already scarce to the game for new players for free to play players Go to Okay. 
Let's get close over there. Let's see how many we're gonna pick up here. Okay, that's another one. Oh, no, that's one of the little gimmick ones. I'm good. I also finally made my bows, too. Uh, these are just leftovers because I had to make extra ones because I kept felling this one. Well, I kept felling uh, this one over and over again, and it was annoying. Keep felling it over and over again. Uh, I will take mana. I will tell you this. I had I had 50 gold. It took me all of that uh, 40, 48 gold to get um, all of these to near 40. So you already know how the train wreck of uh, getting to 50 is going to be. Uh, 50 is where we're going to start enhancing gear uh, right now. Early game gear we don't care about. It's our yellow gear that we actually care about when um, enhancing comes in the play. Like as soon as you hit 50 and get your first yellow piece of gear, that is where enhancing comes into play. And enhancing is is not <laughs> merciful to people. I'll say that. So you need to be very prepared ahead of time if you want to enhance a weapon. And it's going to cost a lot of gold, which you can't really get early game. I think that's all of them outside of the repeat quest. Is there one over here? Let's go check. Uh, it doesn't help because the game also doesn't give us uh, enchantment success percentages. So we can know what what our percentage is at. Um, awakening gear, well, red gear, has a little awakening system that is very generous because it gives you, um, what was it? It gives you pity for leveling unit, which is easier to bring up for damage. But that's like level 90 gear, so we're not going to be worrying too much into that. Um, yellow gear and purple gear are less um, forgivable. When it comes to enhancing and bringing them up. You also still need uh, repair mallets too. And repair mallets are barely uh, sold. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, so... First thing first, let's start with this quest. Uh, let's use this one. Um, so we're going to start doing something that a lot of Grand Fortasia players do. It's called weapon swapping. As soon as a buff goes off, we change to a different weapon in the meantime of that buff going off. So right now, I want the 30 seconds of movement speed. So I'm going to keep shooting at him until that goes off. Keep an eye on my buffs right here. I think is, this is 8%, so that has to be remembered as well. Oh, they're mostly over there. I'm gonna go there instead. But yeah, the faster attack speed, the more chance of a buff going off. Just something to remember. Ooh, hold on. 
One. What is it for? Alright, I can sell that. Uh, Sprite. Sprite instruments actually go for a decent amount once they're over, uh, 21. Level 21. Uh, the real sellers are... I would say... Hmm... About level 50 and up. Because like I said, that's when Yellow Gear starts getting into this. Okay, my bow went off. I, I wasn't... I didn't realize that. Too busy in the conversation. But normally you want to wait for a bow icon to show up, then switch to your next weapon. This is, this is more of a healing bow. But if I wanted to do this, this would be easier to block. I will say this, Grand Fantasia is definitely a, a difficult game to get into. I will say that. I, I'm gonna try and make it easy for you guys to... to understand a lot of the situations you're gonna be in. I'm gonna try my best. And it's gonna have to do with a lot of farming. Your progress will be, won't be halted by XP, it will be halted by... gold. Either that or you're gonna have to learn a lot of different tactics. And I'm going to try my best to teach you those tactics. At least with my character and any other ranged character that you go up, go up with. But um, skill cycling is a thing. So you got to find your skill rotation. It's not easy to do, especially if charge points are involved in that. Because it would require you to hit other enemies. So you would have to change up your rotation if you don't have any um, charts. Obviously. Alright, so we're gonna go fight Conjurers. Nice. I remember this area too well, too. Because, um... There was this goblin... That was really annoying to kill. It took me... I think it... Back then, it was a lot harder to kill because the... the Goblin boss that's over here. Where is he? Yeah, this dude. He, he was really a pain to deal with if you were like matched up and level with him. Oh, damn, he dropped all three. Perfect. Uh, ignore these worms. They're they're part of the gimmick thing. Level 15 plus, and they do a lot of damage. So, and plus they're unkillable as well. So keep that in mind also. They're unkillable without the gimmick quest. I think around um, the next area we'll start doing like repeat quests once. Because we haven't really been touching them. Stop that. Repeat quests do help increase your fame, also. Keep that in mind as well. I just haven't been setting my sights on it, honestly. Because I can always just come back and just start farming repeat quests back and forth. Another funny thing is you can actually have if if you want to really want to get like into like the back scene, you can always just have another character or another account up on a different PC or however you want to make it. And you can actually get the rewards out of the repeat quest very easily. If it's a kill quest. If it's a kill quest. You just have a character sitting there while you kill an enemy, you know, get all the rewards from it. Then you cash in the rewards on other account too. 
You guys can have extra stuff to sell. Wait, where is, um... Where is this? Oh, skeleton warlocks. Oh yeah, the skeletons are over here at the uh, dead end things there. I remember those. Um, as of right now, as we're speaking, um, you guys can, like I said, I think it, I think I talked about this in the last video, but you can enhance your weapon to 15 without it being destroyed. Uh, the only issue with that is you're going to need repair hammers. And I mean a lot of repair hammers because once that weapon breaks, it becomes useless. You don't have any durability on it. It is mostly for well players or players who have uh, saved up mallets, repair mallets. If you haven't seen the repair mallets, then you're, you're kind of shit out of luck. That event won't, like, be around a lot. To be honest, that's... This is actually the first time they've done this. Which is kind of surprising. So I'm interested to see more random events they come up with. Push the wrong, wrong button. Uh, okay, no bones have been dropping. That's not good. Is it a certain one? Okay, so it's from Warlocks apparently. Warlock and Liches. That's my guess. These are the quests. Yeah, those are the quests. You can also sell those. Also, another reason why I wanted to pick this bow, just because the the bow attack speed actually increases animations, animation speed. So as soon as it goes off, I can just spam abilities. Also, like I said, that there are little secret, little archive events you can do as well. Well, archive quests, they'll give you like something. I don't really do those. Because I'm not, like, trying to 100% the game. But it is something that I can keep in mind if you guys want to actually see me figure out those. I don't really think that they're all that hard. Not harder than getting a freaking drop of, um... Blackbone Merrill. Hello? I was about to say, it's the loot's right there. Okay. I'm tired of walking to all this stuff. just gonna have a terrible time here but like I said before I also realized that I kind of effed up my build I should have went movement speed we'll be having a lot of 
abilities. Let's say that. We're gonna have a lot of abilities that deal with like CC for the enemies. And we're gonna be readjusting the enemy, like a lot. But thankfully, that's the way to fix that. It's not like, very complex of how to fix it. Oh, there's one. Is that two? Okay, I'll just go fuck myself. Um, because there is actually the trainers give you a. I think the first stage of the um, talents. Yeah, it should give me dashing one if I go over there and grab it from uh, the train. I will try and remember to grab that. Um, I'll try and remember to grab that when we're done with this. Because I, I wasn't realizing how important speed is for Rangers. Because we also got to remember that most of our kit is inside of our arrows. Okay, we're finally done with that. Jesus. I hate those type of quests. I gotta know is if it doesn't have the Q button on it, it's probably RNG drop through the uh, the brown or beige uh, bags. It's pretty much good luck. Get rid of remains. Those are mostly uh, Spry Island type of ordeal. I still need to use this as well. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do alchemy when I get the chance. I still have no reason to use this at the moment because there's nothing in there that's extremely good for me. Oh yeah, the um, stats on this. Uh, this armor set is going to give me uh, crit damage, hit chance, and agility, and range damage. Another reason why speed is important for us. Because all of our damage is going to be in ranged. And there's also something I didn't think about either. Is um, we're probably going to have a lot of trouble in late game. <laughs> With um, Archer. If we don't have any damage reduction, that could actually put us in quite a predicament. So hopefully Archer does have some damage reduction abilities or gears. I don't feel like they do. Should be very unfortunate for us because you need damage reduction to deal with reflection damage. That is the only means of soloing. Is having damage reduction for late game. And you're gonna need a lot of it for late game. Uh, Echo Cave. Echo Cave shouldn't be too difficult, honestly. Yeah, if you guys are wondering where Black Sprite's emblems are supposed to be turned in, it's by them. For what I remember, it shouldn't be too difficult. you wouldn't drop one. Is that the right one I hit? <laughs> I don't think so. The thing is, I, I thought Drew was mana hungry. I mean, we we still are. We are, we are still very mana hungry. But, holy crap. 
I've never seen a class that eats more mana than the ranger does. And I'm just using like two shots and half of my mana's gone to where the to where my spry helper thinks, you know what? That's 60%. Let's go ahead and use all of that. <laughs> Let's say you're like, jeez. But then again, that's fine because these potions are gonna outlevel real soon. Because then we're gonna need level 40 potions. Another one just spawned in the middle. Because I don't think I remember seeing you, so you're a new quest. But yeah, we're still gaining a lot of uh, a lot of levels here. So, here's how Gravitation used to be before the whole quest changed for more XP. It used to be, you finish a quest, it'll probably give you like one bar or half a bar. Then you have to go grind the rest. This is why power leveling inside of dungeons was such a huge thing in Gravitation. But now that they actually changed the quest, it's actually more reliable to do the quest now. Which is great. But only up to 85. They've only changed them up to 85. I don't know if those 85 quests actually give more XP. <laughs> or are up to date as the other quests. Maybe they are. I'm not sure. <laughs> We will see. The only reason I say that is because um, if we do start losing a lot of XP on uh, level 85, it's probably going to be a longer grind. Most of us went to like burning has um, blazing has uh, dungeon mutated version of it to like get XP. I'm not sure how my class is going to handle that. I might have to start killing things one by one. Also, Druid lost one of their best ways to kill enemies reliably without getting stunned because that dungeon has a huge heavy stuns. Late game is going to be nothing but stuns. I want that to be known. A lot of the mobs are going to have stunts. Even the normal mobs outside of dungeons is going to have a lot of stunts. So be careful of how you tackle that. If you guys are already ahead. Because I know I'm not uploading these videos at like, you know, record pace every single day. Because most of the time I either stream or upload a video. It's one or the two or maybe you'll get a surprise of a video and a stream. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys are already ahead, be careful of late game. Late game is going to be quite difficult, <laughs> is what I can say. It's going to be very, very difficult. Right now I have my, my sprite halfway, well nearly halfway. I have these two sprites fully maxed out on their evolutions, so I'll get a lot of reputation off of them once I get them to level 50. If I don't hit level 50 and can get a level 50 sprite. Because if I hit level 50 before, um... Uh, but yeah, if I hit level 50... Before, um... I can get the gear, then I am 
definitely gonna get rid of those sprites and go farm some sprite instruments. See if I can find mine. Uh, first off. Whoa, excuse the fuck out of me. Why do I have to go to... Okay, I have to go to Red Cook in that city. Great. I, I guess I can teach you guys how to get there now. Um, wasn't planning on that, but you know, hey, the game decides where they, where the hell they want to take me. Uh, we'll do that mission last. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to just send me all the way over there. To where I'm about to get a whole bunch of quests. I feel like the teleporters are keeping up with, like, what level I reach for some reason. Or maybe it's like what quest I can see that it opens up a new uh, teleporter? That's how it feels at least. Because these quests are, like, randomly getting updated to where I'm getting um, teleporters I have to touch open. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad thing. I mean, that's actually really nice. So I don't have to go to each in every last area to grab them which is a pain in the ass to do I will say that oh another quest opened up over here nice 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 nice, nice. I need to go recheck these three just in case another quest popped up on them Hey, buddy. What you got? Level 41 quest? Okay. You still got that repeat? Oh, okay. That, another quest popped up on you. Uh, this is a boss quest. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, another thing that I <coughs> want to talk about. Um, don't think too much on what to grab towards equipment wise when it comes to um, the quest you finish because the that equipment they give is it's terrible it's trash you won't be using it if you're actually keeping up with your sprites if you're actually keeping up with your sprites you won't need it at all but if you're doing this completely off of dungeon gear that is a different story and there's nothing wrong with using dungeon gear because dungeon gear affects all enemies, including bosses, up until like very late game, I think. Because I've noticed that like, some abilities don't actually work on bosses. I don't know how much they're immune to because the Grand Potato doesn't show that. I don't know what element they're weak to or what element they use because Grand Potato also doesn't show that data as well. So that's kind of a difficult thing you gotta kind of figure out on yourself at first glance. But yeah. Just things to keep in mind. <laughs> so what is it giving? Yeah, this is getting giving green gear. Well, I guess giving a blue gear for Engineers, what? what the f Why? You leave these green, but you give them blue? That's... that's weird. I mean... The stats on these are pretty terrible, too. Well, nah. For staffs, if you're using those, then that's how you use them. Well, like I said, if you're playing off of Dungeon Gear, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you're just enjoying yourself going through a dungeon, you're going through a dungeon and, you know, farming gear until you're like fully set for the next dungeon or something. That's also a fun way to play Grand Fidesia and you can do it that way. It is just that you're probably going to have to upgrade that gear at level 50 a lot more aggressively. Because level 50 is where things start truly popping off. Just because the game knows you're in yellow gear territory. Uh, the chef quest will be last. Uh, let's go turn in this, this quest too. Why not? Since we're here. 
And I should check these two again. What these three? Okay, nice. So, what do you have? You have another quest? Nope, you don't have enough quests. But if you truly want to experience your reputation to its, its max, talk to every last NPC. A lot of them have like little, little uh, archive stuff. Like, if you complete a quest, such as the one we were talking about, it gives you these. And these give you collection points. <laughs> Excuse me. And there's a shit ton of them. So that all that alone, to be honest, gives you a lot of abilities. Um, there is a yeah. If I have to show you guys this, you can have extra stats. So if you're just a straight up collector, as soon as you get to two thousand collection, you get this, and this is actually like extremely good. Especially if you get it to uh, Master Collector. There's nobody, there's nothing early that can stop you. And this is even great for the end game. It's just good luck collecting all that. To be honest, you can get to like, I would say you can get to like 6,000 or 5,000 easily by just collecting like everything at altars. Probably not. Nah, probably at um, probably four thousand or five thousand, just by collecting everything at altars, getting every last reputation item. It's gonna be difficult to do that, considering it's all about timing. Like all your time. I'm just going off track now. Uh, anywho, um. Are we even close? Yeah, we're close to teleporter. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I was gonna check those over too. See if they had any other quests as well we can pick up. It seems like we've done quite a bit of them. So I don't think they're gonna have more. Ooh, that quest is starting to die off. Okay. So any quest that is lower than 35 is starting to die for me. Okay, so that's still yellow. Well, actually, that was a repeat quest. Repeat quests normally die off towards XP. The main quest itself normally keeps the XP. Um, if we have the teleport to um, Red Coconut City, then I will go there. Let's see if we have the teleport. Oh, we do. It's gonna cost you one gold. We've been making quite a bit of gold from those other quests. Okay, so... <sighs> this is gonna be an annoying one. But I want to get this out of the way. Okay. So... From this west would be the docks we go to. So we gotta find the grocery. Person, which I think, yeah, the general person right here. So it's going the right way. She has the item we're looking for. Oh, there's a skill trainer here, too. Yep. It's cheap, thank God. That's one part of our quest. Now we have to go to... Oh, that's the bottle we bought. Uh, is there a blending agent from you two? Ah, yeah, here it is. There it is. 
Okay, yeah, she sells both. That's all we need here. We don't need anything else here. Like I said, I'm saving all this stuff for reincarnation. I don't care about this. Oh. Sprite kit. Skill training. Is up. Um. I'll accept it. I think we have to go back to that other dude again. Oh no, we just completed it automatically. Um, skills are used on your sprite. Uh, my sprite is apparently different. Oh, it's never used on mounts. Uh, uh, your sprites do have skills. You need skill books for your sprite. Those skills can. <laughs> Excuse me, your skills can actually be pretty useful as well. You can manually use them or you can have your sprite auto use them. Your sprite will if your sprite auto uses them, they will probably barely go off, so it's better to manual them if you want that extra damage support and the uh, mechanics to it. You want extra debuffs and stuff like that. kind of weird because not a lot of high level players use it even though it's actually like extremely good some of them actually use it not all of them though SOS okay now we have the the dungeon open echo dungeon we're gonna hide that we gotta go talk to him who I think is still in sprite forest I believe Sprite force. Yeah, should be a Sprite Force. But we are level 40. I can go get my uh my Panther. Ooh, a quest just opened up here too. Who gets you? I don't think you had a quest, right? See you or somebody over here. I don't think there were two books over there. Oh no, this just didn't give me the next quest for some reason. Uh, let's go get the panther right quick. Uh, we're gonna use teleport stones for this because um, I'm actually losing money and I don't want to be losing money like that. Uh, we're going to probably only have enough for the panther. Uh, we're going to get our beast control as well. Oh, never mind. Beast control is way overpriced. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, brother. God damn. <laughs> I'm not buying that shit. Holy hell. Yeah, we're just going to Teleport back to this. That's another reason why I say that I don't like using the teleporter because it starts getting expensive. And if you're going to have to go back and forth a lot, it can definitely dig inside of your pockets. Plus, you also got to think about your bringing up your pet as well, which. Well, not your pet, your sprite, which doesn't help. Yay! Got my kitty cat. Fuck yeah. So what do you have? Let's see. So you have... Batter. What does batter do? Okay, I guess that's something we want to see. Isn't batter a stun? No, it's not. But you have a stun. So when you have 50% HP or lower, you have a 40% chance of stunning. So this skill doesn't activate if you're healthy. That's weird. Um, 
you have a skill that decreases basic damage by 25%, that's actually not half bad. And you get 75 evasion. That's pretty decent. The only sad part of this is that motherfucker, he only uses it at 25% HP. But he can also spam this. That's that's another thing you gotta keep in mind. He can spam these skills with the 45% chance. Because most monsters don't, you know, have that uh, cap. Hmm. I gotta I gotta think of a name for you. Oh, I'm gonna turn this off now. You guys think of a name for him. For my new panther friend. Uh, do I need Pike? Yeah, I need Pike. He won't be getting too much action right now, since I'm one-shotting this. It'll probably mostly be like a dungeon thing. Um, I wish I could get beast control to where I can send him into fights first. But, uh, that's way too expensive to get. Okay, he actually, uh, hit. I don't know how much damage he has. Because that's also another thing you can't look at your, uh, summons about. You can also can't look at defense or any other stats off, like, enemies, too. So you can't, like, truly prepare for an enemy. Um, let's see. Actually, I think the wiki will tell you how much HP they have. That's probably it. Man, I'm probably gonna have to sacrifice a lot of my new gear just to um, buy my skills. So I probably am going to do the strat of keeping my level 40 here on. Oh shit, I didn't. Can I go down there? No, I can't. Shit. I gotta go all right around if I want that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you spot right here. Thank you. Cause I was kind of hoping the panther had a taunt, not gonna lie to you. I was very much hoping it's a taunt. Okay, this is my scene transition uh, quest. Uh, where is it? It is Mutated Worm. Mutated Worm takes me to... Oh, to the main city. Oddly enough. Huh, wait a minute. This should, oh, okay, so I... Wait a minute. Is either going to take me here or here? It's going to take me to one of these two areas next because I just realized that there is no third uh yeah there's no third 40 to the 80 48 areas for um Kazlo. Kazlo stops at Plague Forest then spikes up for some reason unless there's another place it does, wait a minute no Sakura Island is something else something a lot of people don't touch um, Soccer Island, I think, is like level 90 or 80. I, I can't believe I just remember that place. Because as my druid, I can go there and experience what it has. To the worm, take that off, put this on for now. Is that his little feet pitter pattering? 
I like his little feet pitter patters. <laughs> this is the small things in life, you know. I'm hoping after the whole rework things that they do, they start um, the next reincarnation. And I hope, hopefully, this reincarnation two skills are like really fucking good. I hope. Like, if the reincarnation skills are good, oh, dude, it's gonna be fun going through my druid again. Because, dude, once I get to my freaking druid and go through everything again, I'm gonna be prepared and actually get to experience my grind from one to a hundred on a new um, rework. I said a rework came up as soon as I hit like um as soon as I hit a hundred well not as soon as I hit a hundred when my character was a hundred Drew is the only like level 100 character I have in this count I normally give characters from level 1 to 70 just to see how I feel about them just off of that Uh, I think I recently did, yeah, I recently did that with Pally, and Pally wasn't really a, something I was into. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, though. I mean, it has some pretty decent skills, especially for, like, groups. Did you kill that? Oh, yeah, you did. You can kill things without me. What the fuck? I just realized that. Fucking definitely kill things without me. He also has a lot more HP than I do. That's mostly all summons. Mostly all summons get extra stats. I think pretty soon I should be getting offered a talent that increases his level above me by a few, which would be great. As a person with ADHD, it's just his little feet and use me so much. I don't know why, dude. <laughs> oh shit, there's another quest opened up, actually. Holy crap, Plague Forest has a lot of quests in it. Alright, this might actually take longer than, than an hour. Okay, the quests are actually getting longer, which is good because that's more XP. It's actually fantastic that the, these places are actually getting, you know, a lot more aggressive with quests. Because the issue is, like, if you level to a certain point and complete an area, you can leave that area. But if you level up, there's a chance that there was a quest in that other area that was level capped and shows up as soon as you hit, like, a certain level. Let's say you leave the area level 41. And you level up in the next area it's level 42 you come back to it and there's just a new quest sitting there that can happen so you can leave back behind a lot of quests well that's use that's how it used to be it's not how it is anymore oh she has a repeat quest now that's what it is extra gold and a reward That's one of my main complaints is about questing is that questing doesn't give anything like truly good. You used the skill, didn't you? I don't see the batteries. Yeah, I don't see the battery skill. Oh, whoops. The thing is, level 40 would usually be my power spike because I would have on the collector bonus and I would bring over my mount. My, uh, mount with stats on it. And I would bring in my, uh, I think 3 star all stat throne as well. That would normally be my, like, huge power spike. 
but considering we're doing this, you know, all natural, I'm gonna let you kill that. That won't be a thing. That was crazy. Minions don't hold aggro worth the shit. <laughs> they really don't. That's why you have to have to build like very low malice generation or aggro generation. It's actually funny because malice and aggro are both used in the game when they both mean the same thing. So, like I said, translation is kind of weird in Grand Theft Auto. Something you use. Do I need to come? No, I don't. What's that? Is that another spot I can kill? Oh no, it's a um, scroll. If only it was for me. I don't know why, but oh no, I do know why. Bushwhacker reminded me of something. There was like this old game called um. What was it? Um, Dirty Bomb. That was like, um, it was like an objective shooter that was really good back then. Then they did splash damage, kind of just dropped it out of nowhere, stop supporting it. But um, there was a character named Bushwhacker that had like a turn. I think that's the two things I'm going to need to build on this character is Malice, this lower, and um, Malice lower, and my ears. I fucking hate these worms. They're so annoying. <laughs> Malice lower and movement speed. That's, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to try and play around my game. Um, I don't think Ranger has any pet healing abilities like um Keymaster and Necromancer have. Necromancer and both Keymaster can heal their minions. I don't know how that works for um the Panther. Here's the thing, normally Panther you would have you would have buffs for your pets. So maybe Panther does get like an actual skill that I can use for him. Is what I'm hoping for. Like skills that I can make him stronger with. Because Puppeteer. Well, no, well, I keep calling him Puppeteer. What is what is his actual name? Time Traveler. Yeah, Time Traveler. Well, Keymaster too. But Time Traveler also has a skill like that that increases its uh pet's abilities so it actually hits hard but it was it was a skill you had to farm an enemy for because there's these scrolls called tomes so if for any player that's played and you're wondering like where is this skill there's a certain skill missing and you want it it is called a tome and those tomes can only be farmed for certain enemies Good luck farming those enemies because it's actually a pretty decent low drop rate. And normally those enemies have two scrolls that drop from them. And guess what? You can't trade them. You, you can't trade them. So if you get one from an uh, enemy that's like a paladin and you are like a berserker, but you have a paladin you want to send it to, you cannot do that. <laughs> Sadly, you, you can't do it. Get another quest? Okay, now you just got repeats. Everything's so dangerous around here.
Okay, so now we're gonna go back to Dead Cemetery. I'm gonna drop these, I don't know why I still have them. I'm not doing any requests. You could stop. I can get rid of this as well. Normally you would just go to a place and sell those. I will say this, generally a lot of classes will have the same talents. A lot of the same talents. But it would be... Most of them would um, have different combos. Uh, we still haven't gotten to the combo stage. I didn't even know I rode reflection damage. Uh, reflection damage is useless on us, technically. Well, let me rephrase that. Reflection damage is useless on players. Unless it's PvP. Because PvP, then that's a whole different story. Because PvE is not going to be very beneficial to you. I think there is a way to roll damage reduction. I'm not, I don't remember how much reduction it is. I really don't remember, actually. Hmm. You just really like killing wolves, don't you? <laughs> okay, we're building. We're killing this uh, little boss here. So he's not going to be able to hold uh, aggro at all. Ugh. I kind of wish minions got an overhaul to where they're a lot better and can hold aggro a lot better. But I guess that would make them a little bit too strong. But then again, you can make them strong either way. It's just the malice lower is all you need. Here's another fun thing. The Panther gains 20% of total damage that we deal, and also the same damage reduction. 20% of the same damage reduction we get. So if we were to build full damage reduction, he would also get a little bit of that to where he can actually survive um, reflection damage. That's actually quite nuts. Okay, level um, 41. What are we doing here? Primal? What are primal worms? Should be one up here. Bear footage is a lot easier to make videos on, to be honest, just because I could just do a video on each section. So now I gotta figure out what do I wanna do. Do I wanna do Scorching Wind? Do I wanna do Lands of Size? It really depends, to be honest. One of them has a dungeon, actually. 
Yeah, Holy King's Temple. I think this one does too. Ah, Roaring. I would probably want to go here because I think Roaring is next after, um... No, no. Roaring's not next. Um, Old... Old Island is... Huh. It's good to see that the gold actually went up from these quests, though. It's actually pretty decent, decent amount. Uh, where are we going next? Okay, yep. They're all in one place. That's good. Those are all war bosses. I'm pretty sure. I wasn't paying attention. I'm pretty sure those are all war bosses. Uh, let's go agility. Backstage. HP and agility. I will always take that. So now we gotta go back to Pine. We could be doing mutated dungeons later on because that level 45 is where Prairie Dungeons uh, mutated dungeon actually shows up as well. Uh, there's only two ways to access uh, mutated dungeons. It's either you make a second account and party with that second account then right click up here and it should say something about going changing to raid format then you'll be in a raid format to where you only gain xp is out of dungeons also remember if you are in the raid format it will also not count towards quests so if you kill an enemy outside of a dungeon for a quest and you're inside of the the raid form format or formation that enemy will not count towards that quest so you have to be outside of raid format so as soon as it as soon as you're done with doing it to dungeons in that party But yeah, level first, mutated dungeons, level 45. I'll probably do that one, just to show you guys. I guess I should bring up my notebook and also put in the tutorial. Mutated dungeons. That's another tutorial we're gonna have to do. as well. Okay, we have a lot more things we still have to do. Uh, the wolves are still over there as well. We're almost done with uh, this quest. I probably should have did those quests while, we, while I was over there. My brain just wasn't braining, you know? Just wasn't braining at all. Okay, we'll get to level 42, which is actually not that bad. But like I said, I want to get enough gold for um, beast control. But then again, at the same time, beast control will kind of be useless. 
considering my pet can't hold aggro right now. I don't know why beast control coughs so much. I mean, my first, my first thought is like, that's insane. Well, I guess I can have him distract um, minions, actually. That's actually, yeah. Because bosses that summon minions, I can have him distract those while I'm kiting the actual boss. I'm not sure how long he'll live in that fight, considering I don't have damage reduction, so it doesn't mean jack shit to him. <laughs> but if my pet actually does stay with the same level of me, and actually has a talent on here towards himself, I might be able to... Is that another gimmick quest? Yeah, there's more plague worms. Why? I don't know why I'm killing that. I barely get XP from just killing mobs. I need those uh, eggs. Should grab those two while I was at it. I'm sorry if I am all over the place. This is just how my ADHD brain goes. Especially when I'm like in video mode. It's like so many things I want to talk about and I just talk about before I actually do forget it. And I'll never discuss it or remember it again. So that's the only quest in this area. I can run all the way back to him. This should give me level 42 with how XP has been going. Either that or I'll just be one bar off. But considering that I'm almost over here, maybe. Just maybe. So now I have to go use this larva over here. I still have a lot of weapon crafting I need to do. I just don't want to use my gold anymore. At the same time, I can make this and sell it. Yeah, stop thinking about it. I'm gonna be getting rid of those soon. Anyway. Oh, hi. Kind of why I won't move my speed as well is because of the move, being able to move while using certain skills too is actually pretty damn strong. And just straight up kiting a boss like that actually makes the class pretty strong. 
So that's why I say movement speed is fan fucking fantastic because you have two abilities like this. Especially meteor. Meteor shower is extremely fucking powerful. It'll probably be your go-to kiting ability. If you can build the movement speed un up enough to where it can, you know, outrun most bosses. My inventory is getting full. I don't like that. I don't like looking at that. I also don't want to use these chests because they'll just fill up my inventory as well. <laughs> but, uh, this should be the next area, right? Yep, this is the next place. Uh, let's see. Yep, this is me, sends me the cost. And it will probably give me the next quest, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Well, oh, well, that quest is also going to a different place as well. Uh, these two are the next quests that we have to focus on. So, uh, yeah, it was closer. Ha, huh? this closer. I guess we can swap to this now. This bow. How many arrows do we have? Do I have to craft more? Okay, now nah, we're sitting pretty comfortably on that. There's also a thing that I didn't realize is that there are guild dungeons as well, apparently. That threw me off when I looked at the wiki and I was just like, uh, what is this dungeon? It's just like, hey dude, we have guild dungeons too. It's just like, wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> Since when? Then I realized that's where the Lost Realm little, uh, little items are from. I would like to... Lost drops or something like that? Lost potions? There's something Lost Realm items that I don't ever see anymore. Like they really don't show up anymore. It's crazy to me. Oh, oh yeah, the main thing I am going to have to use is my sprite. I'm going to have to keep my sprite up to date for sure. So, sprite main focus. Oh yeah, if you level up and you notice your head uh, stat hasn't gone up, uh, resummon them. Then your stats will be up to date. Oh, this is, uh, open. There is a toolbox that is over here. Oh, it's right there. Ah, oh, whoops. I fat-fingered the hell out of it. I thought I pressed Q for some reason. But nope. Apparently it was my one button. Hello? Oh, 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 the servers were lagging. I was sitting here like, wait a minute, why can't I grab this? going because like I said it, it really depends on who makes it first if I make it a level 50 off these and 
That's great. If I make it to level 50 off uh, another sprite, that's great too. Because so whichever one gets their place. Where's my gold at? 23? Mm. 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 I want to get to a uh, cellar. Okay, good uh, XP event. That's always great to see. I should be leveling up uh, scavenging actually. Considering scavenging is like far behind on my main sprite. Okay, so we now have our second boss, field boss to go after. He's all the way back in dead center. So we would be level 43 after this, which is great. I gotta say, developers, great job on um, XP of the quest. It's actually like scattered out pretty well where I slightly outlevel the area by like one or two. If you really want to outlevel the areas, you would do like every last single place. So as soon as you start in Blue Bay, you finish Blue Bay, then you go to Shell, then you go to Arn, then the second areas will open up, you'll go to Steam, then you would go to Plane. Then, um, is it Ancient? No, Moonlight. But then again, I don't know how much better that is. I was doing it on my Necromancer, but I haven't touched my Necromancer in a while right now. Okay, you both are freaking failures. How dare you decide to fail that quest? At least I can count on one of you, alright? At least I can count on my main sprite to do something right. <laughs> bullying at its greatest. <laughs> but I think I should be good with um my level 40 gear. I don't think I... Oh, speaking of level 40 gear, I could put this shit on. I haven't been thinking about that. Man, you look alright. Stop your BS. <laughs> Stop your blasphemy. Cease. Yeah, it looks alright. The hat doesn't, but you know, the rest of the body looks cool. I was thinking about putting a costume on, to be honest. Oh, I like the wings on the back. I didn't even realize that. Uh, I do have to scavenge this, uh, these gears, though. Because it's taking up inventory space. Decent amount of XP. Gave me like 6,000 XP. Oh, you got a second of it? That was good? Okay. Good job. Good job. Um, scavenge these gears for me. Let's make sure I don't scavenge anything that I actually need. I don't need that anymore. Uh, late game scavenging is going to be very, very much appreciated. towards like the level 90s I will say because you can start using those scavenged uh, points not points uh, scavenged uh, crystals as a uh, training instead of just constantly farming these and having to use a lot I think it's one point per uh, training with that So scavenging definitely helps late game for like bringing up skills. Mm. 
I can start getting rid of this now. Um, there's also something else I should do now. Um, oh yeah, I made an extra sword by mistake. Put this on. Do the same thing I was doing. HP. Agility. There we go. Then we gotta go pay a visit to the wolves. Oh crap, is this place really gonna take two hours? I mean, not that I don't mind, you know. I have no problem with being two hours. Okay, so that quest is done. We are now level 43. We probably have other skills unlocked, but well, that needs to be upgraded. But we're not gonna pay attention to that. Uh you don't have any new quests. Oh. The other quests have went dark. So those were um all repeat quests. Noted. So we have basically one more quest available to us. One more quest chain available to us. I think last video I did tell you guys, well, one of the videos I did tell you guys that there is a dungeon that requires a very long quest chain. And it is not fun to get because it is actually very long. It leads you to a lot of different areas. You actually have to keep up with the actual quest line. Um, Blazing Tom's Dungeon. If you guys are in-game players, you know, around level 90, You've been wondering how to get into that dungeon and you can't get inside of it. Because that was the main place we went to go farm XP. Uh, we're going to learn if just grinding the outside quest or is better now than um, just running that dungeon over and over again. Which I don't think it is, but you know, it really depends on what goes on. Uh, we're going to we're going to learn if that's a lot faster, but that's mainly how you do it. If you just look up um, the actual quest line, you'll see that it's like 20 different quests or something like that, 28, something around that area. It's a lot. I forgot which area it starts in, but the dungeon is like level 86. But the thing is about um, the, about that dungeon is that you have to do the mutated version of it. The mutated version is where we all level up towards high level. I'm not going to do it for this video because I'm pretty sure once I get to the current in-game quest, I will be uh, max level. It is something I'm going to have to do when I um, reincarnate though. There's going to be a lot of dungeon grinding from reincarnation. Unless I do repeat quests instead, actually. Do one repeat quest, uh, and have they changed the repeat quests? I actually don't know. I think they probably have. So the repeat quests could probably help me out a lot more. Let's say we just do like five, uh, five an area, maybe. Five re repeat quests an area. I don't know, that's something we're going to have to look at when we get to reincarnation. If I decide to reincarnate. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll call it as soon as I get to the last quest. There's a few, um, well there's actually one dungeon I've never done yet, and that is Condemned Island. I totally skipped over Condemned Island. Oh, there's another dungeon that doesn't show up on the list, which is uh, the Church Dungeon, and I don't see that anywhere. 
inside of the time rift area. So that tells me that was a newly added dungeon that I was doing. Huh. Interesting. There's a lot of other, like, newer dungeons I haven't done yet. Mostly because reflection damage keeps me away from them. <laughs> if I touch those areas, I know I'm gonna die. Now we gotta go get some uh, rotten larvae. Okay. I'm actually enjoying myself with this little series that we're doing. I really wish I had a healing skill for you. Do I get a healing skill for you? I hope I do because every other class has a healing skill. And I feel like you need one. If you get one at Sharpshooter, you have to. Like, that would be BS if you don't. It does seem like I'm about to get a lot more, like, stronger I don't expect this, like, aggressive, like, streaming and uploading videos, <laughs> like, after the January 4th, because that's when I have to start going back to work again. I've been off for, like, two weeks now, because our job gives us two weeks off when it comes to, like, Christmas and New Year's being together, which is great. Freaking fantastic. It's also going to, well, actually, you guys might get a lot more video. It's going to be very, very slow for us for a while. Until it gets to busy, their whole call, so called busy season. <laughs> hmm. Which is normally starts around like August, so it's going to be very, very slow. And to be honest, for those two weeks, I don't think we're going to get a lot of orders in. So that's also something I'm not worried about. But who knows? Maybe it could be different this year. <laughs> I tell myself that a lot. <laughs> Maybe it could be different this year. Have Seed and Caslau always been a thing? I don't know how to get to that. I don't think that's a thing that ever Alright, so we have one more boss in here, and then we'll be level 44. Then I'm pretty sure we are basically done. I just need to come back here after finishing the worm quest just to make sure that that's all the questions. Oh, I just realized we're doing a new fame area.
Let's see, what places require this? Hmm. Wait, this counts as Night Valley? Huh? The fuck? I didn't know that counted. What? I did not know that counted as Night Valley. Also, still throws me off that there's only two like places. But then again, after a while, the, the places start to combine to where it's either between this and this being the last like starter area, or the, the last part of this area, and then they start to bind up into here. Well, it goes from here, then to here, to here. Then you jump back all the way up here. I think you go here. Yeah, you go from here to here. To here. Yeah, a lot of things. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna miss open space. Not gonna lie to you. Open space is gonna be largely missed. Now I get to see how these quest lines go, though. Because I think... Yeah, here's the thing. For me, I think Plague Forest was the last, like, quest line area I've ever, like, done. And I don't think I went beyond any of that. So, doing the quests inside of these... <laughs> These last few colored areas is where my knowledge stops because I just automatically went to dungeon farming because it was a lot faster to level and get to end game. <laughs> so I'm happy I get to come back and enjoy this. Are you still fighting over there? Where'd you go? There you are. <laughs> Uh, you can read some minions in battle too. Just let us know if they get low HP. But uh, threat will be reset. So if your pet has a lot of threat and you resummon it, it can it can lose all that. Then you'll be the next target. Oh yeah, you're a little boss. need any of that that's green territory not my thing i normally only pick up like those blue sparkly chests or the purple chests those are things that normally have like all the good stuff in it anything else is freaking terrible <laughs> nice nice okay we're we're done with this area Let me go ahead and check you guys to make sure you guys don't have any leftover quests for me. I don't think you do. I think that should be it for these. Okay, yeah, you're green. I think the other stuff is green too then. All right, so we're done. We get to go to here. I was going to go to Night Valley. That would have been a terrible freaking choice. Would have been my last choice in the world compared to my level. <laughs> And we get to see what we do next. Why is Eternal Mountain open? Why am I getting quests for Eternal Mountains? That's concerning. But yeah, apparently we're getting sick here. For this quest. Then the other quest is sending us to um, Kozlau.
Oh, yeah. Can I do that now? I was about to say, excuse me? But yeah, the whole dimension thing is at level 80, 85. Don't you want to have any, like, important quests into, into like, what? into, like, uh, well, okay. Hello, you good? Into, like, level 90. So now we have to go to Kazuma, which is our main starting area, so it should have a new quest for us. Maybe? Hopefully it keeps the line going and goes somewhere that's close. Oh, I like how it keeps your class as a name. That's weird. I never noticed that. Please have a quest for me. Leave me in the right path. Nope. <laughs> okay. Dang, that was actually a lot of XP. Jesus. That was a that was a crap ton. That was five hundred thousand XP. Jesus. But yeah, we have a lot of quests in here we can take up. We gotta choose very wisely here. Um, honestly, uh, I would. What is it at right now? Fifteen. But then, if I get it, it goes up. Yeah, it goes up to 15%. I would take a passive here for the extra damage. We're going to avoid anything that's... Um... Yeah, let's avoid anything that is gun-related right now. Okay, so not too many skills are up right now, but we're, we definitely might take, we're definitely going to take Meteor. That's our main go-to skill. We definitely got to take Meteor. We're definitely going to take this, because as long as we can make distance, we can get that extra damage. So it's not as much gold as I was thinking for a lot of these abilities that I actually need or will actually use. And we're going to take shot. Uh, that's where we're going to hold that. And now we got to figure out where the fuck am I going next. I know we're going to do dungeon next, but the issue of the matter is that we need to figure out what we want to do towards these two. What would I normally go into out of this? So I have to choose a path because it'll lead me to another path over here or it'll lead me to a path over here. Because I didn't expect this area not to have one of these areas. Which throws me off a lot. So I think what they wanted to happen is for you to do all of the starting areas. Just go back and forth and do all the starting areas. I think that's how it's supposed to be originally designed. But it's difficult to go back and forth between those also. Um, let's, let's go turn in this quest before we uh, end off. Which I think he's still in the sprite force. Yeah, still in sprite force. So I can show you guys the sprite abilities. Hell, if I would have known that, I would have. I would have just quest line for over here then. All the way up until up here. Too late now. <laughs> Too late now. The more you know. Anywho. Mm -hmm. 
So now, my sprite now has its abilities. Like I said, you can click here to manually use it. And change them to loot first or combat first. Or you can change them back. If you uh, change the loot, well, if you change the uh, manual, he would have his skills here and you would press them while you're also dealing with your abilities as well. Sprite abilities are actually pretty decent, to be honest. There's just extra skills that you can push when up. And they have a chance of doing some abilities. Some of them have chances. Uh, you can look at it through here. Go to dual. You know, details. Then skills. And these are the skills that you currently have. Uh, we can use these. They'll give us sprite uh, points. You can either go with slow down movement, which is something I'm about to go with. Actually, I think you can level up both. Yeah, you can level up both. Some of your sprite. And... Change this. Boom. Right, is it not going to show up until I resummon? Oh, that's weird. Oh, that might do all. Because I didn't uh, put on manual. So now the manual's up. This has a chance. This has single target damage to an enemy. Not yet in combat mode. Oh yeah, you don't have a weapon on you. That's right. Take it back. Give me this. So now my sprite has this ability. I want to give him a sword actually. That uh, should work too. So now I'm pretty sure he'll do that now. <laughs> Main sprite is busy. Main sprite is not in combat. Huh. Okay. I guess I I actually have to be in combat. Okay, so if I'm Oh, okay. Well apparently it doesn't work right now. Right now. Okay. Anywho, we're gonna call it there. Um next video we will be probably level 45 by the end of the dungeon. Oh yeah, we need to recall you and have you scavenge the rest of the gear. But yeah, as I was saying, we'll probably be level 45 at the end of the next dungeon, which is Echo Cave. And at level 46, we will have um, Old Island to do as well. So probably we're going to be ending up doing Old Island in all of one like little go. I'm pretty sure. We're very deep in level for the next area though. So. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. It took an hour and 50 minutes. Well, an hour and probably like 40 mi minutes or so to complete um, Black Forest. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you then. Peace out.